Alright guys, it's Jacob here. We're back again. For my reaction, as a rugby player, you could call me retired, you could not. I'm 30 years of age, I turned 30 last month. It's been really interesting looking through this series. Um, having just turned 30, looking at their ages, you know, and looking at what they've achieved in their life at, the, at that particular moment, and and relating it back to myself, you know, I'm not like a 16 year old looking at these guys and I'm also not an old guy of 40, 50 looking at these guys. I'm a guy that's a similar age to a lot of these fellas that I'm looking at. And that's what makes it really interesting to me. And that's why, as soon as I started this reaction series, Rugby Player Reacts, back, you know, back two and a half years ago when I was 27, I instantly started seeing guys that were around my age, possibly around my height, possibly around my weight, and I'm looking at them on field in front of me and it gives me a real interesting perspective because of the fact that I can relate. I can relate. Now I'm not saying I could make the NFL. I'm not saying I can make a college football team. But I can relate. And that's why these videos have gone okay. Now with all that being said, this will be the final time we, we see uh, the, the Chiefs colours coming out this series. And come to think of it, We've got the Seahawks at some point, we've got Lamar Jackson at some point, so that's the Baltimore Ravens, and I think we've got Aaron Donald at some point too, so that's the Rams. Now believe it or not, I have two of the three actual jerseys. Hold on a sec. Nick Minute. This is actually, this is actually fucking cool. Um, so the Jackson one, I, I, I think, who was number one? I, I actually couldn't be sure, but from what I believe, I, I think it was Lamar Jackson. So we're gonna put that there. We've got uh, Russell Wilson. Now that is going to be a good one. And Aaron Donald. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to fall, but they will fall somewhere. So, guys, you know, I, <laughs> I've been sitting here for the last half an hour thinking, do I put these four off until tomorrow or do I just do them now? You don't know how good I'm going to feel. You don't know how... And I, I don't want to get into it right now because we've still got four more videos to go. I, I can't celebrate too early. But you don't know how accomplished and how proud and how happy I am to have pushed through and have done all these videos for you guys because I know that the most mundane, the hardest part of this whole entire thing is going to come over the next week when I have to edit all these videos but as far as actually creating them, as far as knowing that I've got that content already done, already recorded, ready to edit, it is such an amazing accomplished feeling as a YouTuber and I hope that you can relate. I hope that you can feel that coming through the camera because fuck man, it is radiating off me right now. Anyways guys, let's get into this video. For Patrick Mahomes, I've done my deep dive on Patrick Mahomes before. If there is anything I do want to check, I will. It's five minutes and nine seconds long. It's been viewed almost 600,000 times. But there is one thing on this video that is different to all the others and it is the like to dislike ratio. You're not going to believe it. There's more dislikes on this video than there is likes. There's 10,000 likes and 12,000 dislikes. That doesn't happen often. I'm assuming that's because people thought Patrick Mahomes, due to the fact that, you know, he won the Super Bowl, uh, he won the MVP, he should have been number one, he came in at number four, it all comes down to who votes for who, and at the end of the day, doesn't matter if you're fifth, fourth, third, second, or first, you're still in the top five. Let's go. One. Patrick Mahomes. No question. It, it, is it? I mean, we can arm wrestle if Apparently you it is. don't agree with me. Well, we can either arm wrestle you, Mike, or we can we can just hit the dislike button. But I'm not going to. Who do you think is the best quarterback in the league? I think um, Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes, he's just special. Uh, you dog. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't you fucking say it. By him, he has kind of like that thing, <laughs> you know, that, that thing that, you know, you can't really explain, but he just got it. Didn't he get drafted in the first round of the MLB draft as well? I think I'm a snow game guy. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. If Patrick Mahomes has proven it, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? That's unbelievable. Look at that. It's snowing. It is a blizzard, you could say. And they're still playing high-level football. Anything except he's an any-game guy. Ugh, oh, you don't want to be sliding on that. Can I look like Lamar? That's, that's as close as I can get right there. No matter the weather, 
no matter the stage. He wows fans. Keeps it alive and fans the end zone. I have to watch a snow game. That would be that would be <laughs> that would be next level. And mixed fans of his peers. It looked like Victor skating upon the fellow center. Not the best one of the best players in the league, boy. He is a uh, he is a problem. You gotta love the way he plays the game. Everything's super slow, and I'm just like out here just like standing straight in the pocket, just like <laughs> yeah, in a snow game, things would look a lot slower to him. <laughs> so it probably makes it easier, which is something I wouldn't have predicted. It's like, wow, like this guy is excited. Get your popcorn ready. As far as being a passer in the pocket, yeah, you're not going to be able to run as effectively, but as far as standing in the pocket and passing the ball, firing it to the right place at the right time, a snow game might not be the worst thing. No look passes. Jump throws. Actually, jump as he throws it. He's like a point guard, point quarterback. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. You can't do this. You can't escape. You can't make these plays. You can't make these throws. I would pay money to watch him play football. I had a pretty good rush, and I'm running at him full speed, and he's just backpedaling. Mahomes retreats. And I'm thinking, okay, he's in the pocket. He's got to do something. What's he going to do? He just throws the ball straight in the air to Kelsey. The ball is right on the money. Kelsey makes the catch in traffic. And Kelsey wasn't even looking. Watch Kelsey. 87 in the middle. He's not even open. Just standing there. No one else is even attempting that. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Kelsey. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, he literally got like shifted across about three or four feet in the air like an escalator. Open, just standing there. No one else is even like a conveyor belt. <laughs> I was just like, all right, this is, this is getting out of hand. It is getting out of hand. Scrambling. Mahomes again being chased, trying to keep the play alive. Found Kelsey, slung it, crossed his body. Trouble throws back across his body. Oh, oh. oh, mate. That is the kind of play I want to see more often in the NFL. The receiver catches the ball, but instead of every single other person on that field just looking to block or looking to assist that guy, have someone actually run a nice line behind the ball carrier in space. Instead of trying to beat that tackler, the receiver runs up to the tackler, does what we call the draw and pass in the game of rugby, and gives him a nice pop pass, just exactly like that. I'm a call from Kelsey! I'm like, get him, get him. Come on, man, do it tripping. Barnum and Bailey from the Kansas City Chiefs. Nah, he ain't tripping, bro. That's a nice move. How you doing this right now? Man, this kid, he's an alien. He's bro, the star of that move was Kelsey, not, not Mahomes, but... We'll give him the credit. Not afraid of the moment. He's not afraid to go up to his guys and be like, we need to do this, this, this. Like, you need to do this, da, da, da. He's not afraid of that. Do something special. Sweet, bro. Do something special. Already telling us the f out. It's interesting. I haven't seen this side of him. I haven't seen the the leader. You know, I haven't seen the captain side of him. Um, the inspirational side, trying to get his team up. But this is this is good. One play at a time. Do something special. They were down like 24. You've got to be like that, honestly. You have to be like that at times, right? It's just we probably don't see much of it. So I said to my boy, I said, if there's any quarterback that I will bet on right now in this situation, the Chiefs have got to rally. It will be um, <laughs> out of They scored, what, six in a row? <laughs> Touchdown! 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 I'll tell you what, if there's one thing that's consistent, it's the touchdowns, but it's also the commentator calling the word touchdown. It sounded exactly the same every single time. Let's stick together and fight. AFC Championship this week. Tennessee 17, Kansas City 7. Mahomes fires it. Touchdown! A shot fired out of the cannon, right arm of Mahomes. He watches run against the Titans and sort of broke their back at the end of the half. It broke more than their back. That run broke some TVs in Tennessee as well. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Season. He scored, didn't he? He, he? he gets to about the five yard line, does a nice wee 
jump cut and scores. Television. Look at this. He just made his decision. I'm getting to the end zone. Get out of the way. Maybe the best play yet of Patrick Mahomes' incredible young career. <laughs> Believe that this is our moment. <laughs> Fuck, they came back in both games? Really? Seven words that changed Super Bowl 54 and will be remembered forever in Chiefs Kingdom. It's third and 15. Chiefs need some Mahomes magic. Okay, if that was called Wasp, then the 49ers have a totally different Wasp move to the Chiefs. We're just going to confirm what that deal was that he signed, and then we're going to sign off and go to Aaron Donald. Um, Patrick Mahomes. So he must have signed his rookie deal, and then re-signed for half a billion dollars. He signed his rookie deal on July 20th, 2017, to a four-year, $16.4 million contract. April 30th, 2020, the Chiefs picked up the fifth year option on Mahomes' contract. On July 6th, he signed a 10 year contract extension worth $477 million, with another $26 million in potential bonuses for a total of $503 million, which extends his contract through to the 2031 season. The contract is the largest contract in American football, in American professional sports history, surpassing Mike Trout's 12-year, $426.5 million contract of the Los Angeles Angels, who are an ice hockey team, baseball team. Jesus Christ. Cheese and rice. Okay, guys, that was Patrick Mahomes. If you do want to see another video of mine on Patrick Mahomes, there's plenty there. Just type in rugby player reacts to Patrick Mahomes. And with that being said, Thanks for watching guys, we've got three more videos to go, we're beginning it with Aaron Donald, he's a hybrid, I will say that much. And with that being said, hit the like button if you have liked this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys, we've got three more to go.